Welcome to Real Issues Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn, and this is the Miami Heat versus the Boston Celtics Eastern Conference Finals rematch, if you could say. So let's start with who's out. No Depot, Yurtsevin is out, Gallinari's out, and Robert Williams. I will say, though, that the Boston Celtics will really miss Robert Williams. I think that Robert Williams, even last season when we played him in the Eastern Conference Finals, he's a huge presence in the paint. He's a guy where he always finds his way to block a shot, to be at the right place at the right time, to always at least have his hands up in any which way on the court. So I really do like Robert Williams, and I think that he should have got the Defensive Player Award over Marcus Smart because I don't really see Marcus Smart changing the game like how I see Robert Williams do. But let's start with Miami. I think that the Miami Heat, they have to come out strong. I think they have to push the pace. I think that they have to continue to build on the principles that build the Miami Heat in terms of no holes on defense, giving 110%. They lost their home opener. I think they have three more games at home. And I think that those are a must win because they have a road trip coming up. I think that they need to solidify home and this home stretch for uh, three and one, and then start with Portland and Golden State. Now let's move on to the Boston Celtics. I think that the Boston Celtics have definitely upgraded. They got Malcolm Brogdon last game. Malcolm Brogdon had 16 points off the bench versus 76ers. Also too, Tatum and Brown, they're not playing any games. Tatum last game had 35 points and 12 rebounds and Jalen Brown had 35 points. I think those two, of course, those are the two best players on their team. They're continuing to grow as a team. They're continuing to get better. I think that both of them, they're starting to pick their spots better on the court. I think that, you know, Tatum stopped shooting all these long ball threes. And I think Jalen Brown's handle still has a lot more work to be done on him. But overall, I think that he's came back. Both of them have came back better than ever. I think they look energized. I think they're ready to go. And I think both of them, even though they missed Gallinari, they missed Robert Williams, they lost their head coach. There's so much going on with the Boston Celtics, but they're proving that even though we lost all those things and the team is kind of in disarray, we're going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to be that team that went to the finals last season. Grant Williams, too. He had a very big game last game. He had 15 points. Marcus Smart, 14 points. So this is a solid team. This is a team where they can get buckets. They can score. They can compete with anyone. And also, too, they play team defense like the Miami Heat. I like the Boston Celtics a lot. Overall, as a team, I think that they're very well-rounded. Now, let's start with our Miami Heat. I think Kyle Lowry, he has to come out a lot better, too. I think Kyle Lowry has to have a good start, at least 12 points a game. You know, people were saying, oh, I don't think he should be doing that. Da, da, da. No, we brought Kyle Lowry here for a reason. It's like when the Milwaukee Bucks got Drew Holiday. Kyle Lowry is our Drew Holiday. He's our point guard. He's our floor general. Of course, he has to set people up, but he also has to be aggressive. He also has to look for his shot. He also has to try and get himself going throughout the game. Don't wait till the fourth quarter. Also, too, Bam at a bio. Now that they don't have Robert Williams in the paint, I think that Bam at a bio, he really needs to take over. I think that Payne is the best teacher, and I think that Bam at a bio and Tyler Hero definitely learned from losing in the Eastern Conference Finals against the Boston Celtics. I know he has a good relationship with Tatum, but I think Bam at a bio, he needs to take over. I think that he has to average about 25 and 10 this season for the Miami Heat to be a solid team. I think with his versatility, his rebounding, his defending, his jump shot that he's starting to improve, that's how this Miami Heat team is going to win tonight. Also, too, no dry spells throughout the game. I think this team has to keep the momentum up. You know, I don't want to see where we, we're touching the ball, but then at the end of the day, we're not putting the ball in the hoop. You know, like we're getting all these good looks and we're getting all these good touches but the ball's not going in. Also, too, I'm really going to look at Tyler Hero's game today because he's going to be getting guarded by Jalen Brown and Tatum, Malcolm Brogdon, Marcus Smart, better defenders. So I kind of want to see how he looks in that starting lineup going against these guys, but I'm expecting him to have a good game. I think if he can even average 23 points a game this season, that's solid numbers for him. Also, too, I'm kind of kind of interested to see what are the bench lineups going to look like because without Depot, which I think that's a huge blow, not having Depot as our sixth man, as a creator, a guy that can create rim pressure, who could score, great defender, very athletic. I think that's a huge blow because now you really have to roll with Struess, which he had a great game. He had like 22 points last game. I think he's a solid player. He's starting to hold. Also Gabe Vincent. I think that Gabe Vincent, he definitely needs some minutes tonight. So with Heisman, Struess, Duncan, also too, man, Deadman has to be better. All this fouling and slapping and moving screens, man, you know, I'm pretty sure he'll be gone by the trade deadline or at least when Yurt gets back. But like I said, overall, I think that the Miami Heat, they need this W. They need this win. I think that as long as they're able to defend on a very high level and play their hearts out and be able to score and no dry spells, I think that the Miami Heat should pull out this win. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. 
Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 800 subscribers.